Today I want to show you a really cool acrylic painting technique that a teacher of mine showed me a while ago in university. It's super easy, it's really fun and it gives very interesting results. This painting was done using that technique. Aside from acrylic paint, the main thing required is this kind of glue. It's rubber cement glue. You know that type of glue that is in the back of a credit card or a debit card when you first receive it and you can kind of peel it off easily and it's not really sticky. It's kind of like rubber, rubber cement. You can find this at pretty much any craft store. I've already prepped my canvas and I sketched a little something. The first step that I do is to put a bunch of random colors. Parts of this background will be covered in glue, so it will like reserve the color, meaning that when you peel the glue off, this will peek through, whereas the rest of the canvas will be covered in one solid color of paint. So the way I go about choosing my colors is that I know I want the top coat to be black, so I'm not going to use any black in my background. And the background color could have a theme. It could be pastel colors or really bold colors or cool colors or warm colors, whatever. I didn't really have a theme. I just wanted bold, saturated colors that I kind of put randomly until it felt like something I liked. This is my sketch. I want to keep these as a series, so so far the ideas that I have for the paintings are all kind of musical themed. I think I'm gonna take you in the other room where I have my painting. This was also based on a sketch that I had done, so there's two hands here holding a guitar. The main process is to decide what will show up and what will be covered in that block of black. So I decided to have only a contour line for the hands and a few details like this of line work in black to make the guitar appear like a guitar. But it could have been the opposite. The, the guitar could have been all black. The hands could have been uh, fully boldly colored like this. It's a question of personal taste, obviously, and it's kind of figuring out what might work. You get my point. It's kind of like trial and error. I get to painting, you'll see the process, you'll see it's really fun and easy. And even with the glue, the way my teacher had shown me a while back was to use the glue as kind of like a way to, to write a few words within your painting, bits of a poem, a quote or whatever. I used it differently, but that's one way to use it. All right, let's start painting. I'm using different containers like this to pour some glue into it and then use it to do my contour line, to mask my contour line. And in case you're wondering, the glue is Elmer Rubber Cement. And I'm using this container by PBO. It has a cap and a pretty thin nozzle. This is just a couple of dollars. Once the glue is dry, it's very easily peelable like this. Even when it's dry, it remains tacky. I've already transferred my sketch on canvas. I made a video on the process of transferring a sketch. It's very easy. I'll link the video at the end of this one. Right, now the question is, what will be hidden, as in covered with black paint, and what will show? I'm gonna have to kind of play it by ear. I think that the hand, for instance, the fingers, will be a contour line. So only the contour of the fingers will show up as color. The rest will be black. When it comes to the silhouette of the face here, I'm hesitating. Do I do everything black except the contour line, the outline of the face, mouth, nose, all, all that? Or do I do the opposite? Do I keep the whole face with uh, a bunch of colors like this? And do I just paint on this um, the features like the mouth and nose and all that? I'm going to start applying the glue in places where I, I know I want it to go. And I'm going to let it simmer as I'm doing it. I think I'm going to kind of build 
my composition that way. The glue takes a while to dry, maybe an hour or two, but you'll know because it'll flatten down, but it still remains tacky to the touch. When it's flattened down and it's not wet, but tacky, that's when I know that I can put my coat over top. I'm using black, but obviously any color goes. I'll show you some paintings that I did using other colors after this. You'll see the different results. In one painting, I even did a bit of texture, with, which looks interesting. Now I'll put some black, let that dry, which won't take really long. And then the magic happens when you peel the glue, which is pretty cool. I'll let the black paint dry a little bit, but I want to show you the other colors I was talking about. On this one, I used a dark gray for the hands here with some red here. And I did some kind of texture with a palette knife in the background. So you see the white of the canvas. I used the palette knife to kind of scrape away and create that texture. This texture was created with modeling paste and all the line work with random colors was created with the same technique that I was showing. Here I used blue. I started with random colors like this. I used the glue to mask bits of it. And then here for the hands, I used a black to block um, a big block of color, but the background I used blue. And I let a lot of that random background peek through to create that koi fish. When I peeled away the glue, I went back and I added details. So I added this contour line here. I added some scale with white and different details to finish off the painting. I'll do the same here. Once I peel off this glue, I'll be able to see the areas that need reworking with uh, probably with a lot of black lines to kind of create shapes and have more clarity in the image and a better balance because the glue is interesting because it gives an irregular line but sometimes it when it dries it kind of expands as it dries so that's when i have to go back and rework a little bit but i do love the randomness of the line which i wouldn't really get if i were to try to paint that line it gives like a fluid liquidy line because of the nature of the glue Okay, the moment of truth, peel the glue, reveal the image, and then add more details. We're almost there. Let me point out that I tried signing my name here with the glue. It was a bit messy, but I can fix that. I'm going to go in with some black to add details around here, a few outlines here and there, clean up the pipes, like add more black basically. And the final result is this. The possibilities are really endless with this technique. I hope you liked it. If ever you try it, tag me on Instagram. I'd like to see if you like the video. And if you want to help my channel grow, give it a like. It does make a difference and I really appreciate it. For more inspiration, you can watch this one next and I will see you very soon for another one. Bye.